Hello friends, Star Fun Sweet Sense from the Dollhouse. If you're new to our channel, welcome, welcome. If you're returning Waxy, as always, welcome back. Super excited today. I have another Rainbow Melts wax haul to share with you guys. I placed this order in August and I just went down on August 31st to Connects, my receiving service, to pick it up. <laughs> I can't remember what number this is. Uh, again, it will be in the title, but I think third or fourth, fourth or fifth, I don't know. I am loving, absolutely to die for, loving this vendor. Um, kind of mad at myself for snoozing on this vendor for as long as I did because I was missing out on some fantastic wax. So as always, you get her business card. It's ginormous, but I love it. Rainbow Month, smell the rainbow. Thank you for your purchase. Please allow two week cure time from the pour date. Happy melting. And I will put all of Crystal's info in the description box down below when I post this video. So she's always very generous with her samples. The first one is pink lavender linen, which is pink sugar, lavender rain, and clean cotton. I love these little tombstones. They're so, so, so dang cute. Oh, that might be one of my favorite laundry linen blends. Oh, that is so good. I need that in a larger quantity. That's fantastic. I think I have some of the lavender linen just on its own and could blend it with pink sugar, but I doubt that I would be like that close or that bang on spot on. I need that one in large quantities. Next one is Vintage Library, Old Books, H. Wood, and Musty Air. I had another sample of this. Look at that adorable little pumpkin. So dang cute. I love her molds. Yeah. And I love this blend. So, so good. Again, usually I share my samples in friend mail, but with rainbow malts, I'm hoarding them all because I love this vendor that much. So this order was placed in August, I believe. So there's quite a few doubles in here. We're going to go through them together. Um, Shoot, what was I going to say? Yeah, some of these were poured July 25th, and then other ones were poured August 5th. I think I ordered this the first or second week of August, anyhow. Yeah, there's another one poured August 3rd, August 5th, August 4th. Girl, you've been busy. Ooh, okay, let's start with this one, Plum Tart. I received a sample of this in my last Rainbow Melts haul. Plum Tart is plum warm vanilla crust with hints of citrus and bakery cinnamon. Obviously, I haven't had a chance to melt this yet, but on cold, this is crazy unique. Comment down below if you've had a chance to melt this yet. Oh, that's going to be a... Deadly. I could melt that one well into the winter as well. Like around Christmas time, that would be amazing. Did I only get one of those? I'm not sure. I guess we'll figure it out. Next one I got was crisp and cozy, which is blackberry, juniper berries, eucalyptus, and sage. There's two fair size owl shapes in here. Ooh, that one's really pretty. I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt. She offered that at pre-order. I should have bought that. That's really good. Ghost Party. This is Booberry Marshmallow Birthday Cake. I know that this is a very, well, the blueberry in it is a very popular fragrance oil this time of year. 
And admittedly, I had never tried it before, so I thought, what better vendor to try it with than Crystal at Rainbow Melts, because she does awesome everything. So, let's see. I know, I, I think I remember the fragrance oil notes for Booberry is just a boatload of berries, which is likely why I've avoided it thus far, because I'm not a berry girl. I cannot get over how dang adorable these molds are. Look at that little ghost. Ella's going to see these and run for the damn hills. She's going to be so excited. Yeah, like, um, definitely berry, but I guess that marshmallow birthday cake really creams it out. So I could get down with this ghost party because it's not crazy heavy tart or overly sweet quaintly disgusting berries. I like it. I like it a lot. It's more of like a creamy bakery with a hint of berry. That's right up my street actually. And I'm going to put these back carefully because I don't want to mess up those adorable little ghosts. Ghost party. Happy that I went out on a limb and decided to try that bad boy. I ordered two of uh, Rainbow Melts Espresso, which is rich dark coffee beans plus vanilla sugar cream, or sorry, vanilla cream and sugar. Sometimes I like to order really, really, really bitter dark coffee blends and then make my own little scent babies with them with like ultimate sugar cookie, vanilla cookie crunch. Oh, that is so good. Um, if you've ever melted Rainbow Melts Cool Beans, Espresso is like the dark roast version of Cool Beans. Love that. Trying to pick out doubles here. I know there was a couple doubles. Monster Munch. This is caramel corn, toasted marshmallow, and salty pretzel. I knew I had to get two because just based on those scent notes, I knew it was going to be bomb. Oh, absolutely. I have something else from another vendor that smells like this. But this one is, oh man, like that caramel salty pretzel note is to die for. Look at those little orange ghosts. Super adorable. Happy I grabbed two of those. I grabbed one autumn pear, which is ripe, juicy pear, gooey caramel, and maple syrup. I know it was somebody, uh, it was in a wax chat group or something not long ago. There was a discussion post um, if you pick apple or pear during the fall. And if you've seen my September melting basket, clearly you know the answer for me is all things apple come fall. But I want to branch out and try some different pear scents. Um, what is it? Something honey pear cider from Scentsy kind of turned me off because it was too, 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 too sweet for my taste. Um, but again, I thought what better vendor to try out something out of my regular comfort zone than Rainbow Melts because her wax is beautiful, performs amazing in my space, and she's just awesome at blends. Holy Hannah, that pear is fierce. On cold, I smell mostly that ripe, juicy pear. I get a hint of the maple syrup, and perhaps more of that gooey caramel will come out once it's warming. I grabbed one black chamomile, which is coconut water, chamomile, tea leaves, wild lily, and tonka bean. Holy weird, holy different. I was like, sign me up. I want to try that. Sounds awesome. Oh, definitely. I need more of this. In like large quantities that is gorgeous black chamomile 
I'll definitely keep my eyes peeled for that one. What the heck? How many monster munches did I buy? One, two, three, four. <laughs> what the heck? <gasps> Apparently I thought I was going to really love that scent. And I do. Don't get me wrong. But did I need four of them? Probably not. Celebrate sweet birthday cake, fresh picked strawberries, and buttercream icing. I've heard Crystal at Rainbow does amazing strawberry scents. Ooh, that's different. Oh, yeah, I get mostly that fresh picked ice or strawberries and the buttercream icing. Perhaps more of the cake or like a heavier, dense bakery scent will come out when it's warming. That's unique. I'm going to have to save that for next spring and summer. I grabbed one brown sugar pie crust, which is brown sugar and buttery pie crust. This would be good on its own or as a blending scent. Yeah. I think more likely than not, I'd cut these bad boys in half and use it as a blending scent, but it's still really good. It's kind of like, um, I don't know, if perhaps something is too apple-y or too cinnamony, you could cut that bad boy in half and make a denser, heavier base note to a scent baby. That would be really good. <clears throat> I grabbed one, two, three. No, just two. They look the same, but they're not. Two Sleepy Heads, which is sweet lavender vanilla with hints of soothing mint. I knew I'd love this one, so sign me up, get me two, which, because there's two owls in a pack, is technically four little owls. That's amazing. Oh, so good. Those are definitely going in my lavender drawer. ASAP. Maybe any, even in my warmers tonight. When was this poured? August 5th and it's September 1st. I believe she just says two weeks so that should be ready and good to go right now because I'm ready for bed. Uh, a couple more though. We have pumpkin sugar cookie dough which is sweet pumpkin and sugar cookie dough. Keeping it pretty simple there. So good. I love her pumpkin puree. It's beautiful. So, so good. I grabbed one pumpkin butter brickle pretzel. Sweet pumpkin butter brickle and salty pretzel. Give me more of that salty pretzel note. Can I trade for more of this? Crystal, if you're watching this video, I need more pumpkin butter brickle pretzel. Can you make it the size of like a small four-door sedan so I can cut it up and live in it? That is awesome. Oh my goodness, that is so, so good. I wish I had more of that one. That's the problem with this vendor. I swear they're all good. You just really can't go wrong when you just click order anything off the website. Odds are you're probably going to love it. So order three. And I grabbed caramel marshmallow apple pie, a gooey caramel marshmallow and baked apple pie. Uh, what September melting basket? How about I just melt this rainbow melts for the entire month of September? Oh, that's good. That is really good. Definitely going in the September basket. So, so good. And then last but not least, I grabbed Rainbow Melts Lavender Marshmallow, which is lavender plus sweet gooey marshmallow. I have a lot of lavender marshmallow blends from various vendors, but I hadn't tried crystals, so I thought, oh, might as well. That's beautiful. 
I love her sweet lavender. It's a good sweet lavender. And I don't, certain sweet lavenders, I don't know what fragrance oil supplier certain people use, but it's almost like a sour sweet lavender. <sighs> Not crystals. Crystals got the goods for sure. So that is it, folks. That is Rainbow Melts haul number whatever. I absolutely love this vendor. Probably one of my favorite vendors for 2019. If you can already tell by the amount of hauls that I've done in the last couple months, I adore Crystal's Wax. I will put all of her info in the description box down below. If you haven't placed an order with Rainbow Malts yet, what are you waiting for? Or if you have, what are some of your favorite rainbow blends? And I can be on the lookout for them and try them in the very near future. I always love to hear your recommendations, your voice. Comment down below. Let's chat rainbow melts. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video.